right, let's go ahead and get the jury. Thank you. See, all right. Your next question, Mr. Rottenborn. Thank you, Your Honor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, um, Michelle. Can you please pull up uh, Exhibit One Seventy Five, please? Defendant's Exhibit. Mr. Depp, is this uh, an email exchange you had with Bruce Whitkin um, on June 6th, June 7th, 2013? Oh, it's June 7th, 2013. Okay. And um, if you scroll down to the bottom, that, 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 that I'm not going to read it aloud, but that email address is your email address. Is that right? Uh, the, I don't. Oh, yes, 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 sir. Yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> thank you. Um, so this email is an email that you sent to, to Mr. Whitkin on um, June 6th, 2013 at 7.05 a.m., the one that starts with seriously be woozy. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. And Bruce Whitkin was a longtime friend of yours, right? Yes, sir. Quite a you, long time. Yeah. You met in Florida many years ago, right? Yes. And then he, you, he lived in Los Angeles, and you all were, were very close friends until a few years ago, correct? That's correct. Okay. Um, Your Honor, permission to, to um, publish or pr move for admission of this and permission to publish uh, with the email addresses redacted. And if they want me to redact Mr. Witkin's responses, that's fine. Uh, we have no objection to that, Your Honor. I, and I don't think we need to have Mr. Witkin's response redacted. All right. So you just want to have um, just the identifiers redacted and that's all? That's correct, Your Honor. Okay. If we could do that. Okay, now I know this is a few years before uh, Australia um, in 2015, which we, we stopped with right before lunch. Um, but I want to just, if you can scroll down, um, Michelle, please, to the paragraph that starts, brain is on full tilt. And maybe just blow up the first couple sentences there. Okay, yeah, perfect. Um, so in this email to Mr. Witkin in June of 2013, you write to him, brain is on full tilt. The circus never stops. Feel physically fucked constantly. I'm wired up so tight that I'm barely able to deal with people on any level that is remotely enjoyable. You see that? Did I read that right? Yes, I see. Yeah. Now, Michelle, can you please pull up Exhibit 350, Defendant's Exhibit 350? This is a text exchange that you had um, with M Stephen Duders, your personal assistant, on March 6th, 2015. So we fast forwarded a couple years. Do you see that? Uh, is that 1628? Is that the third one down? Uh, 
And this was a text that you sent to Mr. Duders on March 6th, 2015. So I just reading it. Yes. And it, by this point, you had been in Australia since about the week after your wedding, right? So for three weeks or so, is that about right? Seems right, yes. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, Amber didn't arrive until around this time, correct? Beginning of March? Yes, I, I recall that Amber arrived around 6th, 7th. The 6th or 7th of March, right? Okay. So you'd been been outside of her presence for the last three or four weeks prior to this, right? I believe so, yes. Okay. Um, can you, uh, Your Honor, I would move for admission of uh, Defendant's Exhibit 350 with identifiers redacted. Your Honor, we would ask that the top email to Mr. Um, Holmes and the last email from Mr. Duders be redacted. So just the two in the middle? Yes. Sure, and, and honestly, Your Honor, then if we're going to do that, we can just redact the, um, actually, we, we can redact the second one, too, so we can just do the, just do the third. Uh, Your Honor, we believe that's necessary for context. Okay, for context. All right, so we'll just get rid of the first okay. one and the last one and the that's identifiers. Fine. So it should be the two middle texts. Thank you. If you could just. 350 in evidence as redacted. Okay, go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, Michelle, if you could blow up the email starting with honestly. So this is an email. Um, you've been in uh, pre-production and shooting in Pirates 5 for the last couple of weeks, correct? Uh, by March 6, 2015. What was the question, sorry? By, by March 6, 2015, you'd been in pre-production and shooting for Pirates 5 for a couple of weeks in Australia, right? I believe so, yes. Okay. So your email to him, to, to Mr. Duders, your personal assistant, reads, Honestly, I will not again be doing anything that involves the discussion of furthering my embarrassment of having hoard for all these fucking wasted pieces of shit, nothing, years on characters that I so ignorantly started to think of as my legacy. Every cunting fight, every fucking time, I held my ugliness and rage deeper down and get in check when there was still room in my head to do such a thing. Did I read that right? You did. And that's what you're writing uh, to Mr. Duders, having been on the set of Pirates 5 for a couple of weeks, correct? That's correct. Okay. Yeah, the screenplay that I received was um, not um, up to snuff, I felt. And so that was part of this, was my... Anger was that the screenplay was very uh, lazily written, and I had to do a lot of rewriting. <clears throat> and um, with you in Australia, I think we covered this, was, was Debbie Lloyd. You testified to that before lunch, right? Debbie Lloyd was your sobriety nurse. Trying to, she was supposed to help, help you stay sober, correct? Well, she was there to give me meds. And right. To, the, the, the fact is... Stay on uh, the path. Uh, the, the fact is, Mr. Depp, you, you, had, you had been using a, a fair, fair amount of drugs uh, during those three or four week period before Ms. Hurd arrived in Australia, hadn't you? Mar marijuana was what I was using. And not, not just that, other drugs too, correct? Uh, no, not that I recall, no. Okay. Let's take a look at Exhibit 346, please. <clears throat> this is a text message exchange between you and Nathan Holmes on February 25th, 2015. Correct? That's correct. Mr. Holmes was another one of your personal assistants, wasn't he? 
Yes, he was. He and Stephen Duders were kind of the, 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 the two main personal assistants during this period of time, right? That's correct. And um, at the top of the page, the second one down, do you see where Mr. Holmes tells Objection. you? Objection. Hearsay. He just testified that he was only using marijuana, and this is clearly impeachment to that, Your Honor. This is Mr. Holmes' words. Well, we're going we're gonna to go text by text, and I'm, b oh. before I ask for permission to publish uh, and for motion for admission, we'll go through it. But it, I'll sustain it as Mr. Holmes. So. Uh, okay. Um, Mr. Depp, why don't, you, why don't you take a moment to read this text from the top down? Thank you. Please. Okay, yes. okay. So, uh, Mr. Depp, does, does this refresh your recollection that, in fact, you weren't doing just marijuana in late February 2015? In fact, you were doing cocaine that Nathan Holmes was supplying to you. In fact, there's nothing in there that says I've been doing cocaine. Does this refresh your recollection, Mr. Depp, that you were given cocaine by Nathan Holmes in late February 2015? Um, even if I were given cocaine by Nathan Holmes, there's no, there's nothing here that says I was doing the cocaine. And Nathan Holmes was upset, or he, he, you understood that Nathan Holmes thought that you might be upset with him for taking some of your cocaine. Isn't that right? I Objection, think that's Your Honor, hearsay and speculation. Excuse me. I said, what was his understanding? No, I'll sustain his speculation. Next question. Okay. Um, and in fact, Mr. Depp, um, you, you also had, were going to see Marilyn Manson uh, in Australia around this time, correct? Correct. He was coming to play a, a show in Melbourne. Okay. Um, Your Honor, I would, I would move for admission of, of this document with the following um, text messages. We can redact whatever else they want, although I think, well, we'll the, the ones that, um, of the witness's own words that I'd like to show are 80039, 80041, 80086. Those are all words from Mr. Depp. I have a highlighted copy if you'd like me to approach. Yeah, you, we have no objection as long as everything else is redacted. Right, I just want to look at his highlighted copy and make sure that's. Oops, sure. I touched the screen horribly. No, that Pardon was me. you. It's okay. You're good. Right. Okay. All set. Okay. So, no objection to the redactions? Uh, to, no to objection to uh, admitting those with redactions. With redactions. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Look at those redactions. Three forty six in evidence for the redactions. You can publish it. So you can see these texts were sent on February twenty sixth and February twenty seventh, twenty fifteen. And if you scroll over, Michelle, and can you just blow up the, the text portion of it? You text uh, Mr. Holmes, your personal assistant. 
have you heard from Manson's Ryan? Now, Ryan was Marilyn Manson's personal assistant, or, or he worked for him. That's what you understood, correct? At the time, yes. Okay. And then you say, yes and yes and of course. Yes, please, and you will pay Ryan for it. Two exclamation points, two question marks. And then you write, disappear, we should have more happy pills. Three exclamation points, two question marks. Can you? Followed by three exclamation points. Did I read that correctly? You did. Okay. Can you take that down and please pull up um, exhibit 349? Instead of exclamation points. <clears throat> And Mr. Depp, this, this text exchange that I'm going to ask you about is from just two days later, um, after February 26th, um, on February 28th. It's the last two on the page. Um, February 28th, 2015, there's a text from you to Mr. Duders. I would object to the, uh, as hearsay, with respect to the text from Mr. Duders. That's fine. Okay, you just, so, you're just so just the second to last one is, is all... We would seek to admit. Okay, if we could see the redactions for just that. Mm -hmm. Yes, Your Honor, and we'll happy to redact uh, Mr. Duder's response. Okay. So 349 in evidence with redactions, okay? Thank you, Your Honor. So in this text message, Mr. Depp, sent on February 28, 2015, you, you, you send uh, Mr. Duders an email. And if you'll remember, what we had just looked at was you reaching out to Mr. Holmes, asking if he had heard from Manson's assistant, Ryan, and that's saying yes and yes and yes, of course, please pay Ryan for it, and then asking for more happy pills. And in this text message, you say, yay, hello, Master D. I say, I do believe that Ryan, parentheses, Munson's, gave you a wee baggage for me. Where does it reside, X? Did I read that right? You continue to read them right, yes. And the, the, where it says Munson's, that's a typo and should have said Manson's, correct? Uh, it's a nickname. Okay. Um, you can take that down. Um, thank you. So we've gone from February 26th to February 28th. I'd allow, now like to fast forward to March 2nd of that year, 2015. Can you please pull up Exhibit 353? Your Honor, I've, um, well, let's, let's do it this way. Um, Mr. Depp, these are text messages back and forth from you to your other personal assistant, Nathan Holmes, um, in March of 2015, correct? It appears to be, yes, yes. Um, your Honor, I know that the whole thing is going to draw an objection, but I, um, I would like to, to move to admit Mr. Depp's text, which I have here highlighted, and I think we can redact pretty quickly um, through this document. Um, and I'm happy to have them highlighted if you'd like to me to approach. Well, and, if you could just sure. show it to counsel, the highlighted portions. 
Is this a one-page document or? A it's actually page? it's actually three. Three. Um, and we may not do all of them now, but I think it's okay. easier to just. Um, we have no objection with just submitting Mr. Depp's okay, so it's messages. Okay, 353 with the redactions? Yes, and I think okay. we can, um, if you'll just indulge us for a minute, I all think right, we can fine. get all of that done. Thank you. Okay. So 353 in evidence with redactions. Is, it, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Um, ass assuming that Ms. Myers agrees with, with our redactions here. Not sure. Can we just see the other pages where the redactions were implemented? Yes, all, all set. Right. Thank you. 353 in evidence for the redactions. Thank you, Your Honor. Jury. Can you please go to the first page of that document? <clears throat> okay. So February 26th, February 28th, now, now we're up to March 2nd. And on March 2nd, few days before Ms. Hurd arrives in Australia, you, te you text Nathan Holmes, and this is going to take a little bit just to kind of get through this, so uh, appreciate the court and the jury's patience here. Um, but you text him on number 73, and you say, no, you're not. Why? That is not a part of the job description, and I'm telling you now, any one of any of you guys start to lecture me, I just do not want to hear it. No stupid bullshit about sappy bollocks. I am a grown fucking man, and I will not be judged. Did I read that right? You did. Keep going, please. And I will never, ever live in this world cage any longer. I'll do whatever I damn well please. Okay. Did I read that right? You did. Then if we go on to the next page, please. We continue and say, I don't want to depend on others for things like that. I'm not unhappy. I am insane. Big difference. Did I read that right? You did. No system. Then you say, I don't want to risk it for you or anyone. So I can get what I need. Also, may I be ecstatic again? Helps. Color me deceased. By ecstatic, you're referring to taking ecstasy, correct? It's very likely 
Before Ms. Hurd um, arrived, she had asked me to uh, uh, score uh, either MDMA or ecstasy tablets before her arrival. Okay. So once again, Ms. Hurd's at fault for these texts. Um, I, I'm not blaming her for the text. I'm just stating the, the facts. Okay. Well, let's 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 talk about those facts. So, okay. Ms. Hurd arrives in March in 2015. You can go ahead and. Actually, you know what, let's, let's go down uh, one, Michelle, because we're going to fast forward a few days and, and we're going we're gonna to come back to this. Actually, just one day. This is when you text uh, Mr. I don't even remember if it was Holmes or Duders at this point. Um, Mr. Holmes, correct? And you text him and you say, this yeah, is Mr. Holmes. This seventh. Yeah, so yes. we, we fast forwarded another um, couple of days, I guess, five days. And you say, Need more whitey stuff ASAP, brother man, and the e-business, please. I'm in bad, bad shape. Say nothing to nobody. Did I read that right? You did, sir. Okay. Um, and I wanted to take a look at that, Mr. Depp, because... You just testified that Ms. Hurd uh, was the one who wanted ecstasy. But in fact, when you sent this text on March 7th, 2015, this was right after you cut your finger off. No. And right after you told the doctor that you cut your finger off, you were asking for cocaine and ecstasy. That's entirely possible, correct? I'm not sure that you have the date correct about when my finger was chopped off. Okay. Okay, let's let's um let's take a look. I'm pretty sure that the date was the eighth. Now, Mr. Depp, you remember testifying, um, well, it, let, let's, let's put it this way. Sometimes these texts, um, the, the dates of the text messages, uh, you would agree that um, they're obviously Australia's 12 hours different from this part of the world, correct? Or something like that. Something, something like, like that, that. sure, I'll agree um, with you on that. So the text, the date stamps and time stamps that are reflected on these texts may be reflecting a different time than when they were actually sent. Objection foundation calls for speculation. Oh, You'd agree with that, right? No, I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Um, okay. Well, then let, let's, let's do this. So is it your testimony that right after you cut your finger off, that you, or right after, I, I won't give you anything to argue with me yet, right after you sustained yeah. an injury to your finger, Sorry. that you Right after you sustained an injury to your finger, is it your testimony that you did not ask for cocaine and ecstasy right after you told the doctor about your finger injury? Is that your testimony? Um, <clears throat> regardless of what date you believe works within the world time zone, um, I don't believe that someone who has gone through uh, opiate dependency, who has lost the ability uh, to, to produce dopamine and serotonin in their own body, because um, that's what the opiate does. Your body no longer needs to make the dopamine or the serotonin. The dopamine and serotonin, as you know, I imagine, are um, things that keep us um, in, 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 it gives us, it gives us our I, moods. It gives I, us I appreciate that, but my question wasn't that. My question was, I'm just trying right to after you, you told the doctor about your finger injury, you were asking for coke. It's, it's entirely possible that you were asking for cocaine and ecstasy. Objection. Yes or no? Speculation. 
I'll, I'll allow that question to answer it. Uh, clearly, uh, uh, need whitey, more whitey stuff um, is, is, is uh, yes, it's a reference to cocaine, but that doesn't, uh, there's nothing here that says that I ingested the drug. Not saying there is, but you were asking for more cocaine and you were asking for more ecstasy, correct? I wasn't asking for m more ecstasy. I was asking for ecstasy because that was what I was requested from, was requested by Ms. Hurt. Let's, let's take a look at the, the UK transcript date three. A permission to approach with that, right. Your Honor? Okay. Date three. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to ask you to turn to page 463 and 464 of this, please. Sure thing. 463. Are you there? I'm there. I'm just okay. reading it. Sorry. And on page 463, line 20, uh, you're asked a question. Mr. Depp, what I am asking you about, and I think your barrister, Mr. Sherborne, agrees, the times we have to factor in, it may be we can put in an agreed local Australian time. But what is important, do you see, is the order that your finger, you have cut your finger off, and straight away, after telling your doctor that you cut your finger off, you are asking for cocaine and ecstasy. Answer, yes, that is what it, question, that is what it looks like. Answer, appears to be, and it is entirely possible that I was in the state that I was in. Did I read that right? Yes, you did. Asking for cocaine. So, we talked about the cocaine and the ecstasy. Let's talk about the, 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 the alter, argument, altercation, that you and Ms. Hurd had in Australia. Um, you, you, you testified that you were sitting on a bar stool, right, in, um, in Australia. This is before... You, you, so you're fast-forwarding to the, the end of, the, uh, of that argument? Yeah. We've, we've, heard, we've heard your account of the argument, and the jury will hear Ms. Hurd's account of the argument. What I want to ask you is some specific questions about... You, you're sitting on a bar stool. You've had three or four, I think you said three shots of vodka. I did two um, or three shots of okay. vodka, yes. Yeah. Uh, and you're resting with your hands kind of hanging over the edge like that, right? Uh, well, after the first bottle whizzed past my head and shattered, as I said, I walked around the bar, grabbed the larger, it was another bottle of vodka, the only one there. The larger bottle brought it back and poured another shot and did it. <clears throat> and right, and, and that, that was a, like a, what we call a handle of vodka, is that right? Well, it, yeah, it's one of the larger bottles, with the, it's got a handle on it, yes. Right. And it was, it was full at the time, other than the shot that you poured? No, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a full, full bottle. No. Okay, um, and, and at, at some point, before you, you claim you sustained an injury to your finger, you were, I believe you demonstrated to the jury yesterday, but you were resting with your three fingers, um, your middle three fingers kind of hanging over the edge. Is that, is that fair? Is that right? Uh, yes, I just had a okay. bottle thrown at me, so I was, when she grabbed the second bottle. Right, I'm just asking where your fingers were, sir, at that point. Your fingers were, your palm was facing down and your three middle fingers were hanging over the edge of the bar, correct? Basically, okay. that's correct. Um, and Miss Amber was seven to ten feet away, correct? Once she walked, yes, once she'd grabbed the bottle, yes. Okay. And y your testimony, and we, we've, we've heard it yesterday, but your testimony is that somehow she wound up with this handle of vodka 
and, and threw it, and it, 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 it uh, damaged part of your middle finger. But what, what we didn't talk about, and what I want to ask you about, is it didn't, if it happened the way you said, it didn't, didn't damage any other part of your hand, correct? No other part of your fingers, no, none of the other middle fingers that were hanging over the edge of the bar were injured, correct? Objection compound. We can right. take it piece by piece. None of, the, none of the three fingers that were hanging over the edge of the bar were sustained any injury other than your middle finger. Is correct? Um, the middle finger certainly took the brunt of it as okay. the tip. And, and there's cut off. There's no, there's no record of any glass being found in that middle finger. Correct? Objection calls for speculation. I'm, I'm, uh, I'll, I'll allow it if you can answer it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not a doctor and I'm not sure what uh, was uh, found in the middle finger. What I do know is that when I went to the emergency room that they, <clears throat> they had to um, inject me with a block to be able to put it into a bucket and, and take a wire brush to, to scrub it um, all clean because I had all the makeup still left from pirates on there and makeup from pirates okay we'll get to that in a second but neither right. of none of the other fingers on your hand were sustained any injury that you're aware of correct uh, no there were there were nothing else was severed no. okay and in fact it wasn't just makeup from pirates that was on your hand it was paint that you had dipped your middle finger into to write along with blood to write on mirrors and lamps and assorted furniture in the house, correct? Objection, compound. All right, I'll sustain it as a compound if you. It, there was, it wasn't just makeup. You testified yesterday that it was just makeup from the set of Pirates 5, but in fact, after you sustained an injury to your finger, you dipped it in paint in the house and you wrote in paint mixed with blood all over the place. Objection, compound. I'll sustain the objection. You dipped your finger in paint in the house and wrote on objects in the house. Objection, correct? compound. I'll sustain the objection. You dipped your finger in paint after suffering an injury. Yes. And then you used that finger to write on objects in the house. Uh, yes that, or no? Yes, that was after I had, um, after writing on the walls, the uh, blood had kind of dried, as it were, and, or, and so I uh, stuck my finger into a can of paint and also, <clears throat> excuse me, mineral spirits to, um, to put my verbal messages onto the wall. And you use your, you your finger as a paintbrush, right? Essentially, yes. And can we put up um, Exhibit 369, please? Um, it might, you know, it, it might be plaintiffs. Let's. Um, now, Mr. Depp, we're going we're gonna to take a, a look at some pictures shortly, but y you'd agree with me that there was quite a bit of damage to the house in Australia after this incident, correct? Um, there, was, there was quite a bit of damage to the house uh, during the, um, the entire incident, yes. And you don't remember the television breaking, do you? I remember there was a, I believe there was a coffee cup stuck into the screen or a plate or something like that. And you don't remember the window breaking, do you? I don't remember a window breaking. But you do remember that there was quite a lot of blood everywhere, including on floors and sofas. Well, I'd noticed, that's how I'd noticed uh, that I was uh, leaking. Um, there was heat in my finger, and it was, I felt this warmth and this liquid, and then 
I noticed that the tip of my finger was gone. And at and that point, I think I went into some sort of sh shock or whatever was closest to a kind of nervous breakdown. Yeah, you testified that the breakdown. It's, you, you could have um, also defaced a painting by drawing a penis on it, didn't you? I've never, I, I don't know about that. I don't remember drawing it's, a penis on a painting. Given the state you were in, it's entirely possible that you did that, even if you don't remember it to this day, correct? Drawing a penis on a painting was not the first thing on my mind. Let's I had messages to uh, write, reminders that were for misheard. But you don't deny that a, if a painting was defaced with a penis drawn on it, that that could have been you, even if you were blacked out and don't remember that, correct? Objection, speculation. I'll, uh, if you can... This was no blackout. I know you love the word. It was no blackout. It was shock. That, that wasn't my, my question, Mr. Depp, respectfully. It was, you don't deny that you could have defaced the painting in the manner that I just described. Well, given, given that I had written some messages on the bathroom mirror and then misheard, um, uh, added to them, um, it's also not impossible that Ms. Heard may have drawn a penis on a painting somewhere. I, 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 that's not where I was going. Okay. Um, let's take a look at page 451 of your testimony in the UK trial, please. Yes, sir. And if you look at page uh, 451, line 21, please, you were asked the question, let me ask you, is defacing a painting something that you are likely to have forgotten? Answer, I recall a painting on a lampshade, on a wall, on a mirror. I remember dunking my finger into paint thinner and using paint when I had run out of blood to paint with, and I could have defaced the painting, I suppose, but I do not remember a painting specifically. Question down below on 452 line 15. So there are parts of this episode that you do not remember at all because that would be quite a big thing, would it not, painting a penis on a picture? Answer, it would be quite a big thing. I do not recall. Question, it is not something you would do by accident, is it? Do you, not, you do not accidentally answer, no, I would say not. Question. You have no recollection? Answer, I am sorry, I'm not 100% sure that I can say I did that. Did I read that right? You did read it right, sir, thank you. Let's take a look at um, Exhibit 374, please. Is it Defendant's Exhibit 374? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Depp, do you recognize this as one of the mirrors that you wrote on uh, with your injured finger in March of 2015? Uh, yes, I do. And yesterday you texted, you texted, I'm sorry, talk, we've seen a lot of texts today. It's all right, I did text yeah. someone yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday you testified that you wrote on the mirror, and I I don't, I don't remember exactly what you said, but you essentially said that you wrote uh, things about your past with Ms. Hurd or, or grievances that you had with her, correct? Reminders, yes. Okay. Um, Your Honor, permission to uh, move, or I'd move this in as an exhibit and ask for permission to publish. Any objection? No objection, All right, Your Honor. 374 in evidence. You can publish. You just blow that up a little bit if it's possible. So on this, which you, you wrote on with your severed finger, you wrote in some, some mix of paint or blood, 
starring Billy Bob and Easy Amber. Yes, sir. Miss Heard arrived directly in Australia from filming the film London Fields in England <clears throat> with Billy Bob Thornton, correct? That's correct. And you hadn't seen your new bride in three or four weeks, and she arrives. You're not happy about her filming with Billy Bob Thornton, and so as part of this altercation incident, after your finger is injured, you write starring Billy Bob and Easy Amber on the mirror, correct? Objection compound. I'll sustain the objection. I'll move on. Let's pull up exhibit 375, please. This is, Mr. Depp, do you recognize this as uh, another mirror on which you wrote with your, in blood and paint uh, after your finger injury in March of 2015? Yes, sir. That's in the same uh, bathroom. Okay. Uh, your Honor, uh, move for admission of Exhibit 375 and request permission to publish. No objection, Your Honor. 375 in evidence. Publish. Can we please pull up uh, Exhibit 377, please? Mr. Depp, um, this is a picture of a lampshade that you wrote on uh, after you sustained a finger injury on March 8, 2015, correct? That's correct. Okay. Your Honor, move for admission of Exhibit 377. No objection. All right, 377 in evidence. You can publish. Permission to publish. And on this lampshade, um, which appears to be sitting on the ground, you write some mixture of blood or paint, good luck and be careful at top. Yes, correct. Correct? Yes. I thought it was good advice. Okay. Now, You have never, and I know Ms. Hurd will give her account of this, uh, of this incident later in the trial, uh, just to be clear, you have never seen Amber inflict harm on herself or on her arms or anything like that, correct? Objection compound. Sustained. You've never seen Amber inflict harm on herself? That depends on your definition of harm, sir. I, I, I... That's quite a broad word. Can you please pull up your UK testimony at page uh, 434? Objection, Your Honor. Maybe we approach? Yes.
Mr. Depp, are you um, are you there on page 434, line 25? 434, okay. <clears throat> yes. And uh, in the UK trial, were you asked this question and did you give this answer? Question, you have never seen her inflict harm on herself, on her arms or anything like that during the time you were with her? Answer, no, no. Did I read that right? I don't see it on page 434. Uh, can you, uh, you can gotta you... go to the top of page 435. So sorry if I wasn't clear. Let's go. Oh, 435, Let's... okay. Yeah, so the bottom of page 34, question, you have never seen her inflict harm on herself, on her arms or anything like that during the time you were with her. And then the answer at the top of page 435 is no, no. Did I read that correctly? You did. Thank you. Um, now, you testified yesterday that when you went to the hospital that you told them um, that you had uh, injured your finger in an accordion door. You remember giving that testimony? Yes, I do. Uh, that's actually not true, is it? You, you, you actually told the hospital uh, that you had cut it off with a kitchen knife. Isn't that right? No, that's not true. Can you pull up exhibit 360, please? I believe there was uh, one of my team who might have said that to the doctor, but that was not my, um, those were not my words. At any rate, we were looking to keep Amber's name out of it. Mr. Depp, I'm not going to move this exhibit into evidence, but it, do you see the, the portion um, where, where it says, thanks for seeing and treating this patient? You see that? And then right after that, it said, he sustained an injury to his right middle finger tonight after accidentally cutting it with a kitchen knife. You see that? I do see that. And there's no mention of an accordion door in that document, is there? I'll, I'll read it if you like, but... Uh... That was the, I didn't sign my name to this. Um, and that's not my statement to them. I, I used the accordion door. You, you testified so they yesterday that you told. If then I, I, I can't help that. You, you testified yesterday that you told Dr. Kipper uh, that Miss Hurd had, in fact, been responsible for your finger injury. Do you remember giving that testimony? Yes. Uh, but in fact, in subsequent communications to Dr. Dr. Kipper, you reference more than once that you chopped off your own finger to Dr. Kipper, correct? I think the key word is chopped off my own finger. Um, when you say to someone, I've, cho my, I've chopped my finger off, um, that's just going straight to the fact. You don't get into, um, she did this, I did that, this, that. My, fing my finger's been chopped off. Okay. Let's take a look at Exhibit 398, please. I'd like to, to direct your attention, sir, to um, the text message number 94, which is a text message from you to Dr. David Kipper on March 19th, 2015. Do you see that? Um, I will in a second. Sure. 94. Uh, this is, uh, yes, March 19th, so I was in Los Angeles, yeah. Yes, I, I see the, I see the text. Your Honor, I would move for the admission of this exhibit with just that text uh, displayed in every identifier redacted. 
Uh, no objection, Your Honor. All right. If we could do that redaction, please. Thank you, Your Honor. It was a pathetic attempt at humor. My apologies. <clears throat> All right, three ninety eight and evidence as redacted. that up if you can a little bit more thank you so in this text message from you to dr. Kipper on March 19 2015 you text him my most sincere apologies to you doc I understand your decision based on my immunity to do the right thing and I truly do thank you for your concern I must apologize for not having had the presence of mind to respect the man who has been the most kind and who has done more for me than anyone ever there was no call for my spineless and base behavior toward you. I honestly understand the reasons for your concerns in your letter and can say to you now, they no longer are an issue. Thank you for everything. I have chopped off my left middle finger as a reminder that I should never cut my finger off again. I love you, brother, Johnny. Did I read that right? You did. And Ms. Hurd was not on that text message, was she? No, she was not. Uh, can you take that down and put up uh, Exhibit 499, please? And I'd like to um, like to direct direct your attention to item thirty nine, um, the second text down, which is a text message exchange between you and Aaron Borum, Dr. Kipper's nurse, on October thirty first, twenty fifteen. You see that? Yes, I did. Um, Your Honor, I'd move for admission of this exhibit um, with just that text message. No objection. All right. If we could redact it. And the appropriate redactions. Thank you. Four nine nine in evidence with the redaction. And in this text message from you to Dr. Kipper's nurse, Aaron Borum, in October of 2015, uh, you say, and I'll just try to read the relevant part, sent huge text to Kipper, no response. He's an odd duck, old Kipper. This is the second time that he's held off giving me meds by blackmailing me into seeing him. The first time, I had just chopped my finger off. Hmm. Oh, well, I want off of the majority of the stuff anyway. I guess that's a new way to stop. X. Did I read that right? You did, sir. And Amber is not on that text exchange, correct? No, nope, she's not. I'd like to, um, if we can pull up uh, Exhibit th 343, I believe it's Plaintiff's Exhibit 343, and th this is this is where you tell Amber in a recording that you, you mentioned the day I chopped my finger off. So let's listen to that, please. Right. You, are you entering a 343 into evidence? Yeah, I think it's plaintiff's. It's 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 the same one that was played yesterday. I believe that's okay. plaintiff's 343. 
It's 343 already in evidence. And just for the record, which portions are you saying? Sure. Okay. Which portion are you playing? Are you I'm playing um, 202.15 to 202.19. Is that right? I don't know if we'll be able to get it exactly right, so that there's a second or two on either side, but we'll All do right. our best. That's fine. Do we have the date of this recording? Mr. Uh, Rottenborn? What's the date of the recording? I don't know. It's a plaintiff's exhibit. Okay. I'm not. A, I don't know the date of the recording. Okay. Oh. Mike, you're talking about. I don't know. I'm talking about Australia. The day that. Now I'm we're talking, talking about, about Australia. Australia. Okay. Yes. You hear that when you said the day I chopped my finger off? Let's let's play it again. Let's That'd do be again. great. Thank you. Mike, you're talking about. I don't know. I'm talking about Australia. The day that. Now I we're talking about finger. Australia. Okay. Are you sure that's... Yeah, let's do it one more time. What I'm saying? Don't, or is it the day that I got my finger chopped off? No, no, you say the day that I chopped my finger off. So let's play it one more time, because I think I left out the word that. It says the day that I chopped my finger off. Mike, you're talking about... I don't know what I'm talking about Australia, the day that now I chopped my finger off. Now we're talking about finger. Australia. Okay. I, I'm not so sure. In fact, earlier you had quoted... Jerry Judge from uh, the airplane tape is calling me an asshole. Um, wait till the asshole falls asleep. And I'm positive that those words never left his mouth because he was, he would have, if I would have been making those noises in the bathroom, he would have ripped the hinges off. Maybe they left his mouth when you were passed out, sir, respectfully. Let's listen to this one more time. Was, uh, I don't I'll think I'll sustain it. Yeah, move to strike. I'll, I'll sustain his argumentative and I'll move to strike. All right. Next question. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to play this video, this one more time, please. Mike, you're talking about, I don't know. I'm talking about Australia the day that. Now we're talking about Australia. Australia. Okay. Yes. All right. We can move on. Let's bring up exhibit 380, please. 380. This is another recording, Your Honor. Um, I don't know whether it's been admitted into evidence yet. 380, plaintiff's 380 or defendant's 380? I, be I believe it's defendant's. I left my cheat sheet. Okay. Uh, I thought it was an easy question. Mm. I, I'm sorry. I, it's, okay, 380. I had it written down and I right. don't have it in front of me. That's fine. Both audio, both 380. Plain, pl pl plaintiff's 380. Plaintiff's 380, okay. Yes. All right, I don't know if that's in evidence or not. Is plaintiff's 380 in evidence? No. So you're offering 380 before we hear it. Can we put it in evidence? Yes, Your Honor. I'd move, move it into evidence. And the, the uh, portions that I'd like to play are um, 3333 through 3410. I assume no objections. This is the audio. As long as this is an audio recording of just Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard, we have no objection. Okay, this it, portion is. This portion is. Yes, okay. I believe that there's other portions that involve other people, but as, as best I'm aware, um, well, actually, actually, no. May we approach? Because I, I think.
ladies and gentlemen, they're going to work out an issue with one of the um, video, uh, the audio recordings. So we'll go ahead and take our 15 minute recess for the afternoon. Okay. Do not discuss the case and do not do any outside research. Okay. Okay, sure.
take a seat. Thank you. You can be seated. And your next question, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. I, I think before the break, um, we were going to ask uh, to play a portion of Exhibit 380, okay. which is an audio recording. Um, counsel for both sides have conferred uh, that um, uh, neither side has an objection to the following excerpt being played, which is 3333 through 34 minutes through 34 zero zero so 33 minutes to 34 minutes so you're only entering to evidence that one minute of this audio is that correct yes your honor but there's so somebody's going to get me an audio clip of just that at some point correct? We, sure we're happy to take care of that okay so I'm, i'll make that 380a we can fight over the rest of it later but it's, for now this will be it's just plaintiff's this. 380a plaintiff's 380a would you okay. like we're happy to take care of that if that's fine. Somebody just it's, gives me that one minute. Oh, it's, it, I'm told it's actually defendants. So, oh, they're both 380. So take your pick. So we'll, we'll get it to you. How about that? Oh, joy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Three, three, somebody's, we're going to go with plaintiff's 380 right now. Okay. Try to keep the record clear. Uh, 380A and 33 to 34. Okay, go ahead. What you are. How you fucked me over and make me feel sick of myself. There's still a lot left in the day. Maybe you should dye your hair. I see your roots. That's your voice in that audio recording, Mr. Depp, correct? It is indeed, sir. Now, um, we, we talked a little bit about what you wrote on, on the, the one mirror when you said Billy, Bob Thornton, and Easy Amber. Remember seeing that picture a few minutes ago? I do. And we talked about how Amber had just been in London filming a film with Billy, Bob Thornton, correct? That's correct. Now, when, when you were apart uh, from her, she would want to socialize with other people, and that made you feel insecure, right? And speculative. Right. Compound of sustain is to compound. Okay. When you were apart, she would want to socialize with other people, right? Uh, yes, I suppose at times, yes. And, and that occasionally made you feel insecure, didn't it? Not necessarily, no. Let's, let's look at page 257 of your UK transcript, please. I think that's day two. Day two. Three thirty. What was the number again? I'm sorry. Sure, no problem. It's day two, page two fifty seven. Two fifty seven. So it's page twenty three of the document. Oh Five, seven. Yes, sir. Two five seven, line okay. thirteen. Um, did you give the following testimony in response to the following questions? Question: And when you were apart, 
she would want to do things with other people, see other people, go out with other people, socialize, yes? Answer, yes, sure. Question, and did this occasionally make you feel insecure? Answer, occasionally, yes, it did. Did I read that right? You did. Can we please pull up um, Plaintiff's Exhibit 343, which is a recording. Uh, it's been ad admitted, uh, and we propose to play uh, seconds 30 through 45. With your permission, Your Honor, may we Go ahead. play that portion? I if become, you look at a bigger picture, I what become is irrational when you're doing movies. I become jealous and fucking crazy and weird, and you know we fight a lot more. Can we play that one more time, please? Actually, b before we do so. This is you, you tell her you become irrational when you're doing movies, um, and you, be, you say you become become weird. You heard those, right? Let's just let's. I'd like to hear it. Again. Yeah, let's let's play it again. Thank you. I if become, you look at a bigger picture, I what became irrational when you're doing movies. I become jealous and fucking crazy and weird, and you know we fight a lot more. So you heard yourself, Mr. Depp, say, I become irrational when you're, we're doing movies. You heard that, right? We're ha I can play it again if you'd like. It's, it's, very, it's very difficult to, to tell if that's a you or I. Sure. Why don't we play it again? Thank you. I if become, you look at a bigger picture, I what is it? I become irrational when you're doing movies. I become jealous and fucking crazy and weird. And, you know, we fight a lot more. Mr. Depp, in that, in that audio, you say, I become irrational when you're doing movies. I become jealous, fucking crazy, and weird, and we fight a lot more. You heard that, right? Uh, yeah, something to that effect, okay. yeah. You can take that down. I'd like to fast forward, Mr. Depp, to um, December 15th, 2015. Um, I know there's been some testimony on that day um, for the jury. And you and Ms. Hurd, um, you, you gave some testimony yesterday about uh, a, an, an altercation that you had that evening. Do you remember giving that testimony? Um. Yes, yes. Okay. And do you remember... It was evening. I'm not sure. Yeah. And, okay. Um, and um, you would agree that after this altercation that, uh, that you had, that you wrote in, on the countertop in your, um, your penthouse at the ECB in like a gold Sharpie. You remember that? Very well, yes. And your, your, um, your counsel has shown a picture to you that, that allegedly was taken that day. I'd like to pull up um, Plaintiff's Exhibit 409, which was shown to the witness yesterday, I believe, Your Honor. Plaintiff's 49 was already in evidence, so we'll go ahead and publish it. 
Um, is there a, is there a, it's, it's the, yeah, there we go. Um, Mr. Depp, um, uh, and the jury will see, um, hear more about this as, as the case goes on, but do you recognize this picture of Ms. Hurd as a picture that was taken um, uh, directly after the December 15th, 2015 incident? I don't, I don't know when it was, I don't know when the photograph was taken. I don't know much about it. Okay. I was out of the picture. You can take that down. In any event, you, you, you don't disagree that, um, that there was a, a headbutt that evening that I, I know that there's disagreement about the cause of it, but you, you would agree that, um, that you headbutted Ms. Heard that evening, correct? No, I would vehemently disagree with that, sir. There was a lot of. I was trying to restrain Mrs. Her uh, Ms. Hurd, um, and in the once I had restrained her, um, it's I, I would say if she's trying to still move around and kick at me or trying to get loose, any sort of movement when you're like this and your heads are to get this close together. It, it, it's not impossible for for um, for them to bump, but a headbutt a headbutt is uh, that's pretty extreme. Okay, let's well let's let, of that. let's let's take a listen to um, Exhibit Five Eighty Seven. Um, I believe that's Defendant's Exhibit Five Eighty Seven, um, and. Your Honor, I'd, this is this is one of the recordings that just oh, just, right. uh, just just uh, the two parties, um, Amber and, and Mr. Depp, and we would play propose to play eight forty five through nine twenty. All right, is, is this whole five eighty seven coming into evidence? The whole tape or just um, that portion? Yes, we propose the whole tape come in. To the extent that the tape is all just the two parties, and, and, and that's, that's fine. just the two parties in this tape. I, I believe so, Your Honor. We. Uh, I believe. Yes. I'm, I'm, I mean, we can. We, we'll confirm. But for right now, I would just like to get this part into evidence. If we can, if we can have tonight, we'll confirm with you tomorrow that the whole thing is just the two of them. That's my understanding. All right. Well, so right now I can only put five eighty-seven A in, which is, and the minutes are. What were the minutes again? Eight forty-five to nine twenty. 845 to 920. Okay, that, that portion's in evidence at the moment. Okay. Well, you did. Yeah, but Thanks he, for your sorry. He's, he's happy screaming. It's like. Somehow. The end all be all the well, sort of offensive thing. You can throw a punch, or yeah, you know, screaming is okay. You can headbutt somebody screaming, but don't scream. Huh. Headbutt you, fucking. Could we need to die? Forehead. That doesn't break me out. I don't know if you were. Why don't we play that one more time, please? Because, Mr. Depp, I. I my, my question for you is, did you say, I headbutted you in the forehead, that doesn't break a nose? So let's take another listen. Excuse me. But I didn't. But you did. Yeah, but Thanks he, for your sorry. He's he happy screaming. It's like... Somehow, the end all be home. Well, that well, sort of well. offensive thing. You can throw a punch, but yeah, you know. Screaming is okay. You can headbutt somebody screaming, but don't scream. Huh? Yeah, headbutt you, fucking. Couldn't believe you did that. Forehead. You, you, that doesn't break him out. I don't know if you. Mr. Depp, you said I headbutted you in the fucking forehead. That doesn't break a nose. Um, Correct. I did. I did say those okay. words, but All right, I, I didn't. I said I. I was using the words that Ms. Heard was using. Okay. Um, but there was not an intentional headbutt. Okay. And if you want to have a peaceful conversation with Ms. Heard, you might have to placate just a little bit. Okay. 
Let's, let's listen to um, Exhibit 598, please, Your Honor. This is another, um, this is another recording that uh, I believe is just between the two. I just want to confirm with my team. But for now, um, we we'll just uh, ask to, to play um, minutes 605 through 736 of right. 598. So 598A and evidence of 605 to 736. Thank you, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Who's loudest is most responsible. My 16 year old daughter just, heard you just, saying shit. By the way, I'm, that she would rather I'm not louder. hear. By the way, because I'm louder. Okay, by the way, my family, my friends, everyone screaming. around me had, saw all the bruises and broken, uh, broken blood vessel under my eye, the bruises on my head, the missing chunks of hair, the split lip, the black eye, the swollen nose, all that shit, because you're stronger. It does not mean. It does not mean because they heard me that I'm somehow more responsible. It just means they heard me because I yell in a fight. You do provoke. I yell. It doesn't mean I'm more responsible or badder. However, I am exposed via that. The distance of between Cafe Cabronas and the house is significant. And I know, I know that that does not mean that they got an accurate representation of our fight. But if you told them stuff, great, cool. Thanks for exposing me. As I said to you before, don't do it again unless you want me to really also tell them my side of things. Because trust me, you know, to. trust me, you know I have a different side than you. And if I show them pictures and stuff, I'm sure they'll have even more different side. And in fact, if I tell them even more stuff, they'll have an even more clear picture of what I think are both sides. Maybe but I should you, show them, maybe I should show right, them right. this but and you, this. That's true. You from can do, the you mineral can, spirits. You can do whatever you want. Uh, uh, you can do whatever. You, you can do whatever. Face. By the way, do it. I, I promise you, do it. Do whatever you, you want. You don't want me to do that. No, you only you do never speak you to you again. You do whatever you want. Let's take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 526, please. After the incident on December 15th, you wrote these words on the countertop at Suites, or at ECB, the Eastern Columbia Building, correct? And that is correct. And that's your handwriting on the counter, right? You wrote... I wrote it in my own handwriting, yes, sir. Why be a fraud? All is such bullshit. You see that? Very well, yes. And that's I, in Penthouse 3? I meant it. Why be a fraud? Okay. Why lie? Well, let's let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at uh, Exhibit 580. Mr. Depp, I'd like to direct your attention to the text message two up from the bottom. Um, it's a text message. Uh, this is my question to you. It's a text message from you to David Hurd, Amber's father, on December 30th, 2015. Do you see that? It's, uh, which it's, one am I looking it's, at? It's good question. 131. Can you scroll up, please? <clears throat> And, and my only question for you now is that's a text message from you to David Hurd on December 30th, 2015, correct? Um, I was just reading it, sir. Sorry. Yes, I, 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 yes, that's uh, from me to David Hurd. 
Uh, Your Honor, move for admission of 580. Um, just that text is, is all I want to ask the witness about. Uh, no objection, but with the redactions of the all phone right. numbers. Of course. Eighty entered in evidence with redactions. Thank you, Your Honor. So, in this text message, Mr. Depp, that you sent on December thirtieth, two thousand fifteen, you tell him, Amber's father. Below is a text that I never hit send on from a week or so again. It was in response to you. Hey, brother, I love you too, more than you can ever imagine. It's rare in life when one meets a kindred spirit, a couple of madmen with their thirst for further. There have only been maybe three people in my entire life of your ilk. You're a rare specimen and our friendship means everything. Yes, I fucked up and went too far in our fight. I cannot and will not excuse my part inside these dramas. But I can promise you with all confidence they will never happen again. My most sincere apologies if I've let you down. Love you, brother. Did I read that right? You did read that right, yeah. And so in this text sent on December 30th, you're telling David Hurd that you messed up and went too far in a fight. And it doesn't in say business, physical fight. And in the uh, audio Fights video, can be arguments. Sure. And in the audio that we just heard, Amber's talking to you about people seeing her injuries from December 15th and how she hid them from your kids during Christmas. Objection hearsay. Is that right? I'll, we just I'll, listened I'll, to the, I know, but I'll sustain the objection to that question. Next question. Okay. <clears throat> After you came back from uh, Australia, um, you and Amber saw, you can take that down. Thanks. You and Amber saw uh, someone by the name of Dr. Amy Banks. You, you, you joined her by Skype. Do you remember that? Uh, the only time that I've ever seen Amy, Dr. Amy Banks was on a, 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 a video link from Australia. Right. And you saw her individual, you saw her for a joint session with Amber, correct? Yes. And then you saw her individually for a session as well. Do you, do you recall that? Yes, a brief, a brief session as far as I remember, yeah. And during, during the joint session with Dr. Banks, you didn't contradict Amber's reporting that you objection were violent toward her, correct? All right. If he, if, he did, if he contradicted that. Now I'll sustain the objection. Next okay. question. We're going to jump around a little bit in time here, Mr. Depp. Um, earlier today, you recall um, that we, we talked about March of 2013. And we showed, you saw the picture with the, the cocaine box that said property of JD. You remember that? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I'd like to show you a few documents here. Michelle, can, can you pull up exhibit, defendant's exhibit 159, please, 159. Okay. 
And Mr. Depp, what I'm going to ask you about is, uh, is the second text down. It's the text um, from you to someone named Sis, who I think you testified was, um, you said at first it was Christy, but I think you then testified that it was Whitney Heard, correct? Uh, sis is always Whitney. Okay. Um, I call my sister Christy something else, another nickname. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Your Honor, I'd move for the, and the, well, this is a text from you to Whitney on March 9th, 2013, correct? You see that? What, what am I supposed to see? I'm sorry. The the second, uh, the, the text, uh, sec two down, is a text from you to Whitney, yes. dated March 9th, 2013. Yes, I see that, yes. Yes, sir. Um, Your Honor, I would move for the admission of this exhibit 159 with that text and then the second and third text from the bottom, please. With the appropriate redactions on everything else. Your, um, may we approach, Your Honor? Um, can you, uh, Michelle, can you please redact uh, everything but the second text message, please? Do we'll just call this 159A and sure. that'll be admitted with redactions, okay? Thank you, Your Honor. All right, thank you. So, Mr. Depp, uh, this is a text message you sent to Whitney Heard on March 9th, 2013. And in this text message, you say, you blow that up as, as best you can, please. We had a slightly grim morning, but not a doozy. We kissed, she splits, and texts me sweet stuff. Stuff. I do the same right back and nada. So I just want to know that she is safe. I've heard nothing, just worried about her XXX JD. Did I read that right? Yes. Okay. So that text was sent on March 9th, 2013. Um, with that in mind, could you please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 161? Can you scroll? Uh, yeah, no, here we go. Um, do you see 
four texts or five texts up from the bottom, there's a text exchange between you and Miss Heard. You see that? Yes, I do. <clears throat> and this is sent on March 12th, 2013. Okay, yes, sir. Which, if I'm doing my, my calculation right, was Tuesday, March 12th, 2013. And in the top text, you write, just thought you should know that there exists a book titled Disco Bloodbath. That's all. You see that? Did I read that right? Yes, you did. Your Honor, I'd move to um, move for the admission of um, this exhibit with those texts. When you say those texts, which one? Just uh, those four. The text exchange between Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd. Okay. Any objection to that? We have no objection to the omission of the four text messages between okay. Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd right. on that so date. Can make those redactions? Yeah. Then. Sixty-one in evidence with the redactions. We can publish. Thank you, Your Honor. So we'll just focus on the text. Um, so we can see the top text is from you um, to Miss Heard, um, and you say, "Just thought you should know that there exists a book titled Disco Bloodbath." That's all. And Amber wrote you back and said, "We need that book." exclamation point. And you wrote back and said, is it about last Friday night? By any or, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I got it wrong. I think you're really, yeah. Amber oh. writes you and says, we need that book. And then she writes you and says, is it about last Friday night by any chance? And you write, how can you make me smile about such a hideous moment? Yes, it is. Funny bitch. I fucking love you, you cunt. You wrote that on Tuesday, March 12th, 2013, referring to the previous Friday night, March 8th, 2013, correct? I believe that um, this subject, I, I, I sent her that text uh, that there exists a book called Disco Bloodbath from a bookstore that I was in. She said we need the book, um, asked me about it if it was about last Friday, I believe that I have a very different opinion of what that Friday was than y y you do and I. I <clears throat> well, you, your, your counsel can ask you about that and, and I'm Indeed, sure Ms. Well, I think that's when we'll that. get into that, yes. Um, but my question to you is, you are, you're writing, you're referring to such a hideous moment, you're responding to Ms. Hurd's text is about, is, is it about last Friday night by any chance? Isn't that right? That's what she's asking me. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can take that down, please. Bless you. Can you please bring up Defendant's Exhibit 638? Um, all right, what, what is, are we gonna enter this into evidence, sir? Yes, Your Honor, move for the admission of this video into evidence. We have no objection, Your Honor. All right, 638 in evidence, thank you. Now you can publish it. Ah! Motherfucker! Motherfucker! 
What happened? What happened? Nothing happened to you this morning. Yeah, you're right. I just woke up and you were so sweet and nice. We were not even fighting this morning. All I did was say sorry. Did something happen to you this morning? I don't think so. Um, no, that's the thing. You want to see crazy? I'll give you fucking crazy. That's crazy. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, you're crazy. Yeah, have you drunk this whole thing this morning? Oh, you got this going. You got this no, going? I just started it. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? You see that shit on me? No, the fuck? I didn't. You were smashing shit. Oh, bye. We have a date for this. Um, That's your house. Illegally list. recorded tape. Do we have a date or a metadata or anything on that? Why don't we let's since you have some questions about it, let's why don't we watch it again? Oh, let's I've play seen it again, it, Michelle. Okay, we you know what we Maybe. we can we don't have to do that. That's good. We don't have to do that. This is at your house in West Hollywood on Sweetser Avenue, correct? That's correct, sir. And that's you in the video, Mr. Depp, right? That's correct, sir. And you would agree that you were violent in that clip, correct? Um, clearly, I was having a bad time. I don't, uh, I don't know what it was uh, with regard to completely at this point, since I don't know the date, but... Um, um, being illegally recorded by your um, chosen other is, uh, well, it's quite fitting with the rest of the photographs and tape recordings she made. So um, I thought what, what was most interesting is that she <clears throat> tried to hide it from me and then that she laughed and smiled at the end. I thought that was the most interesting part myself. But so, yes, you didn't I, react I did assault um, a couple of cabinets, but I did not touch Ms. Hurd. And as you can see, I think. You know. And you, may have, been, you may, have been, may have been drunk in that video, correct? There's a possibility of that, yes, sir. You, you, you poured yourself a, um, a mega pint of red wine, correct? A mega pint? I poured myself a large glass of wine. Right. I thought it necessary. Right. Right. Well, let's look at let's look at UK 101, please. UK 101. Yeah, this is day one. Day. You see, um, see there at line five. Do you have the page up? I, I, I don't see 101 yet, sir. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Take your time. I've got a, <clears throat> I've got a bit of a bushel here. Uh, 101. Sorry. 
it's it's on the it's in the volume for day one. If that helps. Yes, yeah, that's correct. what I'm all looking right. through, but it's all um, it's a bit of a jumble. Oh, oh, sorry, here, uh, uh, page 101. Is that what you like? Yes, sir. Okay. And just s since you 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 seemed amused by the terminology. Um, you were asked the question, question, you were drunk, I'm going to suggest. What do you say to that? Answer, I may have been. Where are we, sir? Uh, line five. Thank you. Question, you were drunk, I'm going to suggest. What do you say to that? Answer, I may have been, I do not recall. The chances are very good that, if, that I was if I was upset. Question, we saw you pour a sort of answer, mega pint. Question, mega pint of red wine, which is not everybody's choice for breakfast, is it? Answer no. Did I read that right? You did. And you were very, very upset in that video, correct? I think that's pretty clear, yes. And, and you would agree that your behavior in that clip could be intimidating to anyone present in that room, correct? Objection calls for speculation. I'll sustain the objection. You would agree that you, uh, your, your behavior was intimidating, correct? Objection calls for speculation. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Now, you're a lot bigger than Amber, correct? Physically? I wouldn't say that. Okay. Um, the stand, I would, would you agree with me that, that um, the standards of a Southern gentleman were not in your mind in this particular moment, were they? Um, I, I don't know about anyone else, but I have had experiences in my life where um, one does uh, stray uh, from from complete con control over their uh, emotions at times. And, um, and that is a very normal, primal uh, uh, thing to do. Um, I, I did not uh, try to intimidate Ms. Hurd. If she was intimidated, why was she filming? If she was scared to death, why didn't she leave? Can you pull up exhibit 821, please? Defendant's exhibit. We're gonna fast forward in time a little bit, Mr. Depp. Um, yes, I can feel it. I. I'd like to direct your attention to uh, the th third text down. It's a text message from you to your sister mm -hmm. on June 4th, 2016. Yes, sir. You see that? Uh, Objection. I, relevance, Your Honor. Uh, what's the relevance? Or you, you want to oh, sure. sure. Can you pull up exhibit 870, please? Actually, um, can you pull up uh, it's plaintiff's exhibit 157, 11? 157, 157 page 11. Oh, there we go. Okay, 157. Plaintiff's 157. Page yes, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. 
Mr. Depp, um, these are text messages that you sent to uh, your friend Isaac Baruch, correct? Yes, and I'll, I'll just say that I'm not proud of any of the language that I've used in these anger. Uh, your Honor, I move for admission text. of just this page of this exhibit. Your Honor, we object on relevance. All right, if you want to approach, that's fine. Sure. All right, with the, uh, with the objections. You can tell her what redactions you're doing. Sure. Just those middle two texts, please. All right. Complaint is 157, page 11. So I guess we call it 157A. Page 11 in with redactions needed. Your Honor, permission to publish uh, this redacted exhibit. All right, yes, sir. Mr. Depp, these are two texts that you sent to Isaac Baruch, the jury's heard from, on uh, October 17th, 2016, and October 18th, 2016. Um, can, can you just read for the jury your, that first text? You'd like me to read that? Yes, please. Sure, Mr. Rottenborn. Is the slippery whore that I donated my jizz to for a while staying there? And can you please read the text under that, please? Certainly. I'm not sure I sent that text. But... Well, I'll, I'll read it. You, you say... No, I'll read it. It's fine if you'd no, like to hear that. You no, know, I'll go ahead and read oh, it, you sir. You, you, you tell Mr. Baruch on October 18th, 2016, hopefully... That cunt's rotting corpse is decomposing in the fucking trunk of a Honda Civic, two exclamation points. Did I read that right? You did. Okay, you can, you can take that down, Michelle, please. <clears throat> and can you please... Can you please pull up exhibit 485? Defendant's exhibit. Do you recognize this as a text exchange that you had uh, between you and Amber Heard on September 28th, 2015? Yes, sir. Your Honor, I'd move for the admission of uh, the exhibit with just um, happy, to, happy to have all of it or just Mr. Depp's, depending on what his counsel uh, wants. And give, Your him Honor, a, give him a moment to read it. Of course. Uh, we're happy to have the, um, Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd's portions admitted, but we would ask that the phone numbers be redacted. All right. Of course. So we could redact the identifying information
All right, 485 in evidence as redacted. Can you, can you blow up the top text? Michelle, please. And I'm not gonna read the whole text, Mr. Depp, but um, if, you, if you start um, four lines down, you say, and I'm on such a beastly head fuck from earlier that I feel like I won't know what to do or how to be. I feel like I only just continue to piss you off. Believe me, I never want to hurt you and always have never wanted to hurt you, never. I don't want to be in that position anymore. Not ever again. I feel pushed and I push back. I feel hurt, I will hurt back. A fight commences, I will fight back. And obviously so will you. But I can't again to see it coming. It puts us both in some stubborn space where neither of us can hear, much less understand one another's position. Did I read that right? You did, sir. Can we pull up exhibit 186, please? May I just make a point of clarification for DX? 485, it's a multi-page exhibit. Is this, oh, is it? Okay. Oh, I just want to make sure it's just this page. It was, yeah, that, it was just that page. All right, what page is it? Page one, one of eight. So that'll be 485A, page one. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Myers. 186. Mr. Depp, um, if you can go to the, the, the first page, Michelle, please. Um, this is a text exchange between you and Ms. Hurd on September 6, 2013, correct? On, what's the date? So, September 6, 2013, I believe. You see that in the lower right of the text boxes? Third, uh, well, from the second one. The top one says uh, September 5th. S starts on the 5th, right. And then I was looking at the one that starts, thank you for your letter. That's September 6th, correct? That is September 6th, yes. Okay. Um, and then if you, if you, Your Honor, I'd move for admission of this document, starting with the text that says, thank you for your letter. Um, and happy to have both texts or, or not, depending on what Mr. Depp's counsel uh, argues, but um, thank you for your letter. And then going into the next page um, through the uh, text that says I have other uses. Uh, could we please scroll down just to see a little further? Can you scroll down a little bit further? Thank you. Can we please continue down further? I think we would like through um, the text messages on the third page, um, through Mr. Depp's text at September 6, 2013 at 8.10 a.m. No objection to that, that's fine. All right, so it's, so it's exhibit, defendant exhibit 186, pages one through three, then as redacted, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So 186A, pages one through three as redacted, okay.
can you just scroll down so counsel can see and the court can see if the redactions are right? Looks correct. Thank you. All right. You. Entered in evidence then 186A. All right. Permission to publish? Yes. Thank you. If you can. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, Mr. Depp, on September 6, 2013, you send Miss Heard a text that says, Thank you for your letter. I love you. Yes. Scroll down. Right. She writes, Thank you for mine. Did I read that right? You did. And then you write, the only reason we go for the throat is love. Did I read that right? You did. And then she writes, my throat is yours. You're going to be the death of me, but I don't care. And then you write, I have other uses for your throat which do not include injury. I have other uses for your throat which do not include injury. Sorry, could you read that again? These are your words, sir, right? Mm -hmm. I read that right, correct? You did. Thanks. You can take that down. Yes. Can you pull up exhibit 483, please? This is a journal that you uh, that you and, and Amber would write to each other in, correct? It's a That's picture of a journal, right? That's correct. And this is an entry that you made on September, looks like September 27th, 2015. Is that right? That's correct. And if, uh, Your Honor, I'd, I'd move for, is there another page below it? Okay, I'd move for the admission of these two pages uh, as exhibit two, uh, sorry, 483A. Any objection? No objection. All right, 483, and that's the first and second page of that exhibit, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, one and two, okay. All right, in evidence, you can, you can. Permission to publish? Publish. And if you can scroll down, Michelle, to the bottom that starts with, I love and adore you, please. Mr. Depp, you write in this journal, and, and, and just to be clear, this journal is something that you and Amber would write notes to each other in that the other one would, would be supposed to read, correct? Yes, we wrote notes to each other for the, each other to read. And you wrote, I love and adore you. I can't express how sorry I am for having stooped so low as to have spewed such vicious untruths for the sole purpose of hurting you. I am far from being proud of myself for such a, next page, grievous error, shameful, I will never allow myself to resort to such disgraceful and odious behavior no matter what. Did I read that right? You did. Can you please pull up uh, audio tape 396, please? Has that already been entered in evidence? 396. 396. Is, it, is it plaintiff's or defendant's exhibit? Sorry. I'm told we think it's plaintiff's exhibit. Plaintiff's exhibit 396. Has it been in evidence? No. 396 plaintiffs. 
And this is another one of those, Your Honor, that I'm, I'm pretty sure is just between the two, but I'd like to confirm. All right, um, so 396A, which part are you playing? 709 to 719. And 2004 to 2023. And this is just the two litigants Two clips. Yes, Your Honor. All right, any objection to those two clips? No, Your Honor. All right, 396A entered into evidence. Go ahead. What's the date? I'm not. You're a cunt. I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. And I want out. Fuck this. Goodbye. Cunt. In that portion of the recording, uh, Mr. Depp, you tell Amber you're a cunt and you fucking hate her, correct? Yes, I did. Okay. Can we play the next portion, please? So the first clip was at seven, about seven minutes in. This is at 20 minutes in. So that was about 13 minutes later, correct? My math's right? I, I, I don't know. What's the date? Can you pull up? You've got time, but you don't have date. Don't can you pull up exhibit 180, please? Defendant's 180? Yes. Scroll down, please. I believe you've you've testified, um, Mr. Depp. You you did not like Miss Heard um, expressing her, her disapproval of your drinking and drug habits. Correct. But you, you, her, her disapproval went far further, much further than just uh, drink and mm -hmm. substances. Okay, let's let's go to the, the uh, first page of this, please. This is uh, text messages uh, from you to Miss Heard um, on looks like July nineteenth, or sorry, July ninth, twenty thirteen. Do you see that? Yes. Okay. And is it just two pages? Three. Um, Your Honor, I'd move for the admission of Defendant's Exhibit 180. Any objection? Or do you need to look at the three pages? If, yeah, I think we saw the first two. Could we just see the third? Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All Thank right. You. No objection. 180 in evidence. Would the, is there any redactions needed? Mm, uh, I don't a, believe so. No Your identifier? No. I don't, it doesn't appear to be. Okay. It's, it's our lucky day. All right. There you go. All right. 180 in evidence, then you can publish. Okay. Uh, in, in this, and, and when it says Steve here, uh, Mr. Depp, that's, that's what Ms. Heard referred to you as, correct? Yes. And you, ref you referred to her as Slim, right? Yeah. Yes, okay. that's, that's correct. And, and so you text her, rears, uh, tears, beers, shears, sapphires, leers, jeers, pe queers, hears, fakirs, mouseketeers, ears, I can go all night. DJ Maxi Pad, the old vintage motherfucker you went for, dumbass. Did I read um, that right? I was, sorry, I was signing off as dumbass. And then below that, you write, don't call me again and do not expect anything from me. Do you see that? I do see that. Did I read that right? You really did. Let's go to the next page, please. Eat salad with your equine AD bovine yerps. And thanks for the support. Have a great shoot. You sicken me. Leave me fucking be, Officer Squarehead. Your display of guilt and matronliness as a lesbian camp counselor was plenty. Your future is on display. Best of luck. Best if luck. 
Thank you for the correction. Best if luck. You're welcome. And thanks for the tunes. Bye, JD. Don't call again. I will begin to feel embarrassed for you. Go away, coach. Hup. Done. Did I read that right? No. Other Go away, coach. Done. Hup. Done. Thank you. Otherwise, did I read that right? Um, sure. You agree that referring to Amber as a lesbian camp counselor is a highly offensive reference to make, correct? Um, what's the date here? 2013. It wasn't um, as uh, considered as egregious. Um, it was a bit more. It was a bit more um, understanding about terms. Amber also called herself a les lesbian camp counselor many times. So um, I don't think I'm the first to say that. You'd agree that there's nothing appropriate about referring to her, your girlfriend or fiance as that in those disparaging terms in that text, correct? Um, Objection compound. They are sustained compound. You'd agree that you, you meant the terms in your text uh, as an insult because you didn't like the fact that she was disapproving of your alcohol and drug habits. Objection Isn't that right? compound. Sustained compound question. There was nothing. No, you don't involved. have to answer that, sir. Sorry. That's right. Next question. Sorry, Your Honor. That's if okay. you can go up, uh, up one page, please. <clears throat> you told her, "You sicken me. Leave me fucking be, Officer Squarehead." Correct. Yes. Let's go to um, Defendant's Exhibit 736, please. Can you scroll down, please? Is that, is that the last page? There's some more. Go up then, please. Now, Mr. Depp, I'd like to direct your attention to the text at the bottom. We, we've heard some testimony in this case. The jury's heard testimony in this case about the events of May 21st, 2016. These texts are texts that you and Amber exchanged on May 22nd, 2016. All right. You see that? Yes, I see that. Okay. Your Honor, I'd move for the admission of uh, Defendant's Exhibit 736. All right, any objections? Uh, well, the identifiers need to be redacted, and sure. I just want to clarify that the three pages we scrolled to or through are the only three pages. Sure, let's take exhibit. a look at them right now. It's just those two pages. Oh, two pages or three pages? It's just two. Okay. Oh, if it's just these two, then that's fine. Okay, we'll take out the uh, identifiers, please. <clears throat> Okay. Um, 736 and evidence as redacted. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Depp, if you can take a look at the, the text message at the bottom of the first page. You write to, um, to Ms. Heard the day after the incident on May 21st, 2016. Just let me know when you have a minute and I'll give you a call. Nothing I have to say to you should elicit anything but a sense of ease. All my love and profound apologies, Jay. Did I read that right? You did. Can we go to 771, please? Um, 
Mr. Depp, is this a, a text message from you um, to Ms. Hurd on May 22nd, 2016? Yes, that, that seems to be the case, yes. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Your Honor, I'd move for admission of this uh, exhibit with uh, identifiers redacted. Any objection? No objection. All right, if you do those redactions. All right, 771 in evidence with redactions. And on May 22nd, 2016, you wrote the text that we just saw. You also texted Ms. Heard. sorry if was a bit. Please know that my hurt toward you is over. My apologies are eternal and belong to you. Solid X. Did I read that right? You did. Can we please pull up um, uh, Exhibit 587? And, Your Honor, this is an audio recording that um, it will take about five or six minutes, so okay. it might be take That's us fine. toward the end of the day. All right, 587, and is that an audio recording as agreed? Is this plaintiff's or defendant's 587? It's, it's defendant's. Um, again, I'm 99% sure it's it's just them. Um, okay. But if I, I'll confirm this okay. evening. Any that's, objection? That's fine. Uh, can you please just let us know which portions you're playing? Uh, of course. This will be 3210. To thirty-eight oh five. Okay. And so Mr. Depp, um, before uh, before we move on, at, at you and Miss Heard saw each other in July of twenty sixteen. Um, one one final time, correct? You testified to that, right? You saw each other in San Francisco. Right? Yeah, yes, okay. we did. All um, right. I'm still not sure if that was the final time. I believe the last time I saw her was in her divorce attorney's office when the agreement was signed. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I believe. Uh, I, I believe. I believe I misspoke, Your Honor. It's. Okay. It, I'm sorry. It's 586. So, sorry. It's the same video that you were discussing, just the wrong number. Yes. Okay, yes, so Your Honor. And and what I would propose to play is 3210 to 3805. So we'll make it 586A. Yes. Uh, section 3210 through 3805. All right, that's in yes. evidence. Okay, thank, you. thank you. And with your permission, I'd ask okay. uh, for us to play this okay. to the jury. Go ahead. Thank you. Actually, but before we start, Mr. Depp, uh, during this meeting that you had with her, at one point you tried to cut yourself with a knife, correct? I don't recall that, no. Okay, let's play this. I mean, I might have uh, made a move. Don't cut your skin. Please do not cut your skin. Please don't. Come in. Why don't. would I do that? It's easy. Don't, please do not do that. Please do not do that. Come please in. don't. Please don't cut yourself. You don't need to cut yourself. I need to do what I want. I know. I know it hurts. I feel the same. Come in. I want your mark. You have it. Uh, 
No, thank you. No, thank you. The sperm on the pillows. Don't, 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 don't. Don't you tell me. Please don't do that. Don't put, put the knife down. Don't. Just put the fucking knife down. Don't. Don't do that. Do not do that, Johnny. Please, you're going to... look at you. You're going to hurt yourself. Please want to look at you. I know you're in pain. Wait. Stop. Please There's don't. There's a way for the pain to go away. It's not, it's not that. It doesn't make it go away. Trust me. You don't fucking know. It do know. It doesn't make it go away. Really? Did it make you go away? Yeah. It did? Please don't, please don't do that, okay? There's love here. There is love here. There's love here. I wouldn't be here. I have no other reason to be here. is really dull and it would be the worst thing in the world to use to cut no, me with it, it would be too mm. painful and dull and dirty to use yeah, it that's the tip of Please do not, do not, do, don't, 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 you're going to hurt yourself. Don't. It's okay. Please don't, please don't cut yourself. Please, please don't. Please stop. Please stop. Please. Don't, don't hurt yourself, please. No, I don't hurt myself at all. Your Honor, I think that might, if, if it's okay with Your Honor, I, I'm probably going to move on to something else. Um, later, next later. time. Okay, I assume you still have quite a bit cross, or? A, a bit. I'm not, not exactly sure. But. All right, but more than we could do. Yes. Okay. All right, that's fine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we've come to the end of our week, um, so I won't be seeing you again till Monday. Since I won't be seeing you till Monday, I just want to give you the the large jury instruction I gave you, and I'll try to give you on each Thursday evening just to remind you since I won't see you for three days, okay? So remember, it's the court's instruction uh, to you, the jury, that you not read anything about this case, that you not watch anything about this case. You're not to listen to anything about this case. This applies to television, newspapers, magazines, the Internet, 
and any online sites. Further, you're not to read, watch, or listen to anything about this case on any social media, uh, so social media networking sites such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, blogs, or similar sites. In addition, you must not communicate with anyone about the case, whether in person, over the phone, by email, text, or instant messaging, or by any other electronic or non-electronic means. This includes your family, friends, coworkers, acquaintances, and strangers. I also instruct you that you cannot do any research or make inquiries about this case, whether online or by any other means. What you learn about this case is limited to what you learn in the four walls of this courtroom when proceedings are underway. All right, so I hope you have a safe and quiet uh, weekend, and we'll see you Monday morning bright and early, okay? Thank you. You're excused for the weekend. All right, so you can sit down with your, your attorneys, Mr. Depp. You can sit down with your attorneys. Go ahead. You, you can stay go with your attorneys. All right, so tomorrow, um, I won't see the litigants anymore. Obviously, no posting on social media, no talking to the press for for Mr. Depp or Ms. Hurd. Um, the attorneys, I, I'd like to see at 9 o'clock tomorrow, if we could start at 9, please, um, so we can start with the, the uh, deposition designation objections. Um, I would, uh, if you could send that list to me I, or to I, Sammy? I, it's it's, my it's the, all yours. You don't have any more depositions we need to go through? We've done all yours? So Good. I have 10 that I sent them last weekend. We, we've sent all of our withdrawals and objections, et cetera. I don't have any of theirs. Well, we're, we'll we can do what we did last week with the round robin. The more attorneys you bring, the more round robin we can do. That seemed to work okay. <laughs> and we'll just keep doing it until we went to 630 last week. I don't know. Hopefully we can get done before then, but we'll stay until they get done. And, and we do intend to be sending our comments. That, that's fine. Well. We can we can discuss it tomorrow at 9. And, and any redacted exhibits that you're going to have for me, because now I'm owed quite a bit, um, if you could bring those as well, whatever you can, okay? And, Your yeah. Honor, if I may approach, I just have two from yesterday. Okay, which oh, is number 40, hopefully. Not, we're still, still waiting on 40. 40 is on my first page, so I was hoping I could get that one cleared. That's okay. I don't have a 492. Do you have a 492? 487A? 487. It is 487. All right, 487A. Got it. Okay. We'll enter those into evidence. I think you gave those to me, right? You have them? Uh, yes, we have those. And, and, Your Honor, if you could just remind the witness that since he's still on the stand, he's not to discuss his testimony right. with anyone, including right. his counsel. And, and, and again, Mr. Depp, since you're still testifying, you can't discuss your testimony with anybody to include your attorneys. Okay? Thank That's you, Your Honor. That's fine. Anything else? No, Your Honor. All right. We'll see you in the morning. Then. See you Take tomorrow. Care. Thank you. All right.
I'm going to see him tomorrow at uh, 2 p.m. tomorrow, so I'll, I'll follow up and make sure uh, that we have his phone number. So we'll follow up. So. I'm David, by the way. David, by the way. David, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, dot org, yeah. P R E S S dot org. Yep. Oh, really? okay, press cool. Yeah, that's the press club. And then uh, yeah, just I think it's just I think it's just his name, right? It's just, I'm not sure if it's his dot or not. Oh great, yeah, it's your channel. Oh great, awesome. Yep, that's yeah, that's it. I'll double check. I'll make sure that he got it. Um, but uh, yeah. Oh congratulations, that's great. Okay. Cool. This your first TV job? Yeah. Yeah. Where were you with Larry? Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I'm I'm uh, I'm coming to Johnny Depp. So you just were you just doing interviews with them for like analysis stuff and then they covered you that way? Yeah. 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 Make, make sure that you know it's like a, a, a way to like make it really hit home. You know? 